Good morning, everybody. Cable Guy Ken coming to you live from the front yard once again. How's everybody doing this morning? I hope everybody's alive and well. If you're not, you better not be watching this. We don't do no zombies on the Cable Guy Ken show. You know what I'm saying? Got a couple of things I want to mention to you real quick. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tease you. I want you to look at this shirt. I ain't going to say nothing. I want you to look at it. Look at the back. Look at the writing on it. That's all I'm going to say. I got something here. I'm going to do a little quick review for you real quick here this morning. The mosquitoes are about to eat me slam up. I saw a couple over there sharpening the switchblades like they're getting ready to take a chunk out of me. So I'm going to get this as quick as I can. I don't want to get eat up and uh, get any worse off with the itching than I am already. Blind horse knives, people. You've heard the name. You've seen them around Dave's page all the time because of the Pathfinder knife. But let me tell you, they make a lot more than just the Pathfinder knife. they got tons of stuff. Blind Horse Outdoor Products, I believe, is their other website. I'll annotate it right down here in the bottom uh, with the web address. Blind Horse Knives. They got Blind Horse Underground. I mean, just a, they got a lot of stuff going for them. You know what I'm saying? They're not a one a one horse ride. Uh, I met LT and all the guys over the weekend. Worked with Alicia, uh, which was cool as I'll get out. I helped her out with uh, me and Alan. Actually, helped her out with her flint and steel fire. And with the bow drill fire, she got her first bow drill fire this week at the uh, gathering. Um, I let her use my, my spindle and hearthboard set and everything. And she got, I think she ended up making three different coals, what she told me. Um, so that was pretty cool, getting to meet them, hang out with them, and work with them and stuff. And uh, LT, he said I humbled him, but he really, he humbled me. Uh, I told him about me, you know eating ramen noodles for two months so that I could get a Pathfinder knife and it just blew him away so much that he gave me his large tiger nap. So we're going to do a review on this for you and let me tell you something, if you're looking to get into blind horse knives, you're not sure about the quality of their stuff, um, you think maybe the Pathfinder knife is just a, a freak accident, I don't know what your, you know, maybe your brain waves ain't connecting, but uh, I can guarantee you, looking at the knives they had at the gathering, every knife they sell is top quality, top notch. Every one of them, brothers. Every one of them. There's not a flaw to be found on any of them that I can see, and I looked at a lot of knives this past week. But uh, the large Tiger Nap, they make a large and a small. The small is, I want to say, five and a half inches with a two and, might be two and a half inch cutting blade, I believe it is. But the large is six and a half inches with a two and five eighths inch cutting blade. Now these are approximate sizes because each one is made by hand so each one's going to be a little bit different. Um, the sheath for it has their adjustable retention system so you can slide this little slider right here up and down just like on the Pathfinder sheath and make this either harder or easier to get out. Now I wear my sheaths and I know y'all seen this other video I wear my sheaths on a slip so that all I have to do is snatch it and it comes off. And by what I do, my I just tie a slip knot in this one, put the end of the string through, and just pull it till it's snug. I don't want it super tight, but I want it snug. That way if it gets caught on anything or if somebody grabs it, it'll pull out. I don't have to worry about hanging myself. I said, y'all y'all seen my other video on that. I did it with my BK-11, the Becker Necker. Um, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, but because of wearing it that way, I like this to be real loose so that I can get it out without worrying about pulling it through the knot and losing the sheath. Um, if you bought any Kydex sheaths, you know you can spend anywhere from $25 to $75 on a good Kydex sheath. Throw in the retention system, you're adding value and cost to it because there's extra meal work that has to be done to make this and all. Keep that in mind, y'all. The knives are all hand ground. The striping is all done by hand on a grinder, so each one is unique and different to itself. LT, if you're watching, wait for it, buddy. Wait for it. Pow! Look at that, buddy. Each one of these stripes is literally done on a grinder by, grinder by hand before they're sent off the heat treat. Then the heat treating process blackens the steel on the inside so that when they sand and polish the outer pieces of this, the black stripes stay there, which gives it its tiger stripe look, hence the name the Tiger Knife. Um, the, the overall shape of the blade lends itself well to your hand. All the corners and edges are smoothed off and rounded, with the exception of this piece right here, which makes it great for 
scraping bark, scraping bamboo to make your little uh, tinder bundles, or striking a fire a ferro rod if you needed to do that. It's a really great little uh, accessory to your kit. Complements a large knife extremely well. And uh, let's see what we got here. We'll use uh, this one here. If you needed to make a spear or something out in the wild, the shape of this handle really, I don't know that they designed it for this, but this shape with the lanyard hole right here and the size of the, the bulb at the back of it lends it really well to being used for a, uh, a spear tip. And for safety purposes, we're going to do it like this right here. So I don't have to worry about cutting myself. got that down inside your piece of wood and if you were to lash this down that bulb down at the bottom is going to offer resistance on this knife being pulled out of your uh, spear so that when you do stab something with it you don't have to worry about your knife staying behind when you lash it down because being so small up here at the top you're adding that tension on the handle that's going to keep it in place for you um, I don't know how long LT's used this. I don't know when the last time he sharpened it was. I hadn't touched it yet. And uh, this bad boy is still just razor, razor, scary, sharp. I mean, this is a piece of red cedar. And you can see it just throws off some curls off of that like you wouldn't believe. And being rounded, there's never any hand fatigue. Uh, every it just feels good in your hand. It just really flows well, and the lines of it actually complement the Pathfinder knife so much that I was actually thinking about mounting the sheath to the side of my Pathfinder knife, piggybacking it, and the two just looked awesome together. Six and a half inch overall, two and five eighths inch blade, O1 tool steel, flat right angle grind on the top for striking your ferro rod, scraping bark, that kind of stuff. Um, perfect size for small game fish, doing your little camp chores, cutting your, your summer sausage, what have you at work, um, uh, at a camp rather, or at work if you like me and you eat on the you eat on the side of the road. So if you're looking to get into Blind Horse, you want to give them a try and check out the, the caliber of the knives that they produce. Each one of these is custom, y'all. Each one's going to be a little bit different. I can guarantee you nobody will have exactly the same knife you have if you order one. And for $50, you're getting the knife in O1 tool steel and a custom made kydex sheath that fits it with the retention system. You can't beat that for $50. If you can beat that deal at all, put it on my channel, prove it to me, and I'll buy one. You're not going to get this much knife with this quality, custom made with the handwork that they put into it for 50 bucks from anywhere else. I'm not going to make one and sell it to you for $50 with that much work in it. There just ain't no way I could. I couldn't stay above water. Check them out, y'all. I'll put all their information down here at the bottom for the websites. Give them a holla. LT, Dan, all of you. Love you, brothers. Great honor to meet you. Great honor to spend some time with you. Look forward to doing a lot more business with you in the future. Cable Guy Ken coming to you live from the front yard once again. Peace out.